Well, hidey ho, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fat. And I'm trying to hold up my, uh, my lead of seven videos here. I have about seven videos for my personal channel, and I'm trying to keep it that way. So here I am, and, uh, you know, as I said, I'm fat, and I'm, I'm sitting here in the dark and trying to think of a thing to talk about. And it just so happens I do not have it in the cabin of the car, but my nose is itchy. It already touched my face. Anyway, I'm covering up my badge. Uh, there's a cloth badge on this shirt. And again, it's... You know, yeah, I'm on duty, and I can do this because I'm in, I'm on a construction site. It's completely empty here. There's no one but me. I'm showing the inside of my car, and I'm not disclosing anything, anything from my job, so I can do this. I could not do this if, for example, I'm showing my uniform patches or anything like that. But it just so happens uh, the guard I relieved is a six foot four male model. I had no idea. He had never mentioned this to me. Never. I mean, look, I talk to everybody about what I do. I'm a writer. Uh, not a good one, I guess. Not a famous one. But I am on IMDb under Richard Leland Neal. And under Richard Leland Neal, I am a writer for a YouTube channel, which is not prestigious. It is not wonderful. It is not great. But I am a writer. And I told this guy, I said, you know, dude, um, if you want to build your resume, this it, it doesn't pay a huge amount. It, you know, it's kind of a distance. But if if something comes up, you know, I'm going to throw it your way because he's a friend. But the smartest guy in the world, but then who is? Um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, I guess, at the moment, somebody like that. After Hawking's passed away. Anyway, so, you know. That's the thing about myself as a security officer is that I actually go to every security officer I find and I try to, um, I try to find what it is they want to do with their lives. And maybe I can help them and maybe I can't and maybe they can help me and maybe they can't. You know, if I could take all the creative power, uh, you know, all the people I, I know, I'm sure I could do something. The problem is getting them all together at the right time to do the right thing is the issue. So there's that. It's very difficult. Humanity in and of itself is a great and wonderful storm of energy and activity. But storms are more destructive than they are constructive. And using the storm to build is never easy. And like I say, when I worked in Hollywood, everybody had a film that they were trying to produce. And that film was sometimes good, sometimes bad but always something that required more than they had. And I remember I had a guy talking to me, and he said, yeah, we hired a professional screenwriter to do this, that, the other thing, and we've invested a lot of money in this. And I think they had scrapped together $4,000 to make what people said was a $4 million script. And you know what, dude? Um... I don't know if he ever did it. I know other people that did, but I don't know if he ever finished it. And, and hey, you know, who am I? I never finished anything either. But one of the things about life is often using what you have. As opposed to wanting... So I, in, in terms of using what I have, am trying to find out what, it, what might be available to me. So now I have this guy's card, I have his, uh, 
his information and I can I can call him if I need to and I can ask him if he wants to be part of something. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but you know, hey, you just never know. Uh, so that's my blurb for the day. Use what you have. I'm Richard.